Lithuania over unity experiments. Ida. Ida and Wesley. Gintas. Also Lithuania. And the coil, the magic coil. Arunas from England, Lithuanian. Idas and his friend that was participating in it. Equipment that we have used, there were two generators and one oscilloscope and spectrum analyzer. So three boxes. You see them in here. One of them has two devices in one. Okay. This is the power supply. This is the magic coil. And one kind of ferrite that we have used, but we find out that uh, a not empty one, like a road, works better. This one had the paper dividing between the ferrite rings. You see the part of the lab that was available, and the people were talking about it. Now, it is very important to repeat that when we have been measuring, we find out that the pickup coil that is on the top of Caruso's coil that is inside should not react when you touch with the finger or when you short the leads of it at all. That stands about a minimum or, or probably close to none of the KMF that is on it. We have connected the output of the cardo cells to the oscilloscope. That is what is strange is that I'm trying to short the lead and there is no response on the oscilloscope. We use generator that was connected to the input of the cardo cell through 100 ohm resistor and then we taking the signal from the oscilloscope that is connected to it. We're taking it out. Can you show me the type? I'm giving it to the caduce and taking out of the caduce, but through the resistor, as you see here. Okay. We try to put the ferrite in here. Uh, the resistor is of value one uh, one hundred ohm. Uh, we're trying to set frequency. One hundred ohm. To this is one hundred. Okay, now you see in here how we wind the car to say exactly the way that I does. Now the problem that he had was to try to repeat what he did. So we take measurements right now. 147 picofarad. Did you put it on paper? Yes. So we have uh, our, uh, the same impediment between two output coils. But what you see we're measuring is we're putting one lead on the cutter cells and the other one um, trying to measure on each one of the leads left and right so then we see uh, the capacitive reactance capacitive leakage between these two coils black wire on the top of the pickup coil is picturing how the carousel crosses looks like inside that coil 
additional wires just for a measurement. Right. We just put these wires to measure exactly the length of the original waning. Then these leads were removed. This is just that we have had a huge problem when we wind one of the carousels it didn't work. Again, the carousels work properly when you have no response on the pickup coil. When you try to touch, I'm sorry, on the carousels, when you try to touch the pickup coil leads or short the pickup coil leads. Now this is the explanation how vital is to have a set of the elements connected properly. This shows how much current is being drawn from the device when it is being unloaded of the spark, you know, shorting it or without it. 15 milliamps is on that scale. Now when we try to spark on it, device spark on it, didn't raise much. So the, the response, as you see, this is, is extremely so small. Is at least one point of, uh, part of the evidence. Now, the light bulb now, that we are uh, going to connect to that is the light bulb that shows us uh, 100 watts light bulb leading at the full brightness where the tuning is properly done. That stands for me about either improper calculation or high level of violation with the conservation energy law. And again, we're doing more of the experiments in here. Now we're trying to connect the variable capacitor in it and try to find out how tuning uh, will affect the output. As you remember from the schematic, one lead is left open, never connected. But uh, it must be a proper volume of the capacitor connected. Even though we're trying to tune, we found that the smallest capacitance of the capac variable capacitor did make any changes on it. Now, this is the way that you wind the cardo cells. We have had one unsuccessful um, attempt, and then we did exactly the way that was shown on one of the videos of items. And we followed the path, and we were successful in it. Now, you see all of the information all of the diameters, everything they need to follow. We have made three carousels. The one that you see right now is the exact copy of the uh, our IDAS carousels. I recognize that by the color of the form that was a gray color. Um, this is how you can wind the carousel by first putting the tape on it exactly based on the dimension and then follow with the set of the wires together. Of course, you might all use the strip, a copper strip instead of the wires. Now, the one that is on the top is the one that was made for my copy. It was a little bit thicker form. You see the one that is dark red, which is up there, the one was made for me, and the one that they hold in their hands that was exact copy. Both of these copies work, but no problem. Although, the one that is without the winding right now was made even better than the original one. Now, antennas 
um, was insisting to cut it because it was confusing, it was too long, which I didn't want that to happen because it was not good for my sample. Uh, he did what he did. <laughs> I couldn't stop him. Okay, now this is my my um, sample of the carousels. The reason we made it a little bit thicker is because I have had a set of two very thick Russian ferrites that I have applied to that and that was thanks to the operation with antennas. That was a kind of trade <laughs> that we have made. Okay. The, the first carousels took us a few hours to wind, the third one was half an hour, so the more you do it, the better you do it. Now, exactly the angles, exactly the length, exactly the dimensions, just follow it and you might be very much successful, guys. Now, remember. This is very dangerous project. We don't recommend it to anybody, and we don't uh, encourage anybody to do it. It is only for the people with the proper experience and on their own responsibility. We're not responsible for anything that might have happened. It is you who made the decision. I want to make it clear. Now, all of the explanation, that's the legal statement, is for the purpose of information. The wording used, you're gonna make it, is only for the license electrician on their own responsibility or licensed professional. I, I gotta have to say this statement. <laughs> you know, the world is full of sharks. No, I wasn't. I wasn't uh, um, agreeing with them in some instances. I was giving to them the additional information. Now, see, we're putting a, an insulation, a, a special insulation in between the cross sections to make sure that it would be no spark jumping. It's very important. Oh, this is the one that was made for me. So you see the pickup cord. This one is made on much more heavy form. Uh, this again, oh, now you see the structure that is with two thick ferrites. It's a beauty, absolute beauty. I don't have a, a full length of the pickup coil. It's a little bit shorter, but I'm gonna deal with that or add another four windings from the left hand side and the right hand side. I'm gonna put it in here. Now we see here the output, and I'm gonna insert the ferrite inside. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, stop, stop, stop. Uh, we have had a little discussion about how to connect it properly to take the measurements. Oh, you see the form inside that was one that was for me, and then you see a foam that is on it. And uh, that was because we found that we have an extreme um, problem with the spark jumping through it. This one was performing well. Okay, now I'm going to repeat that. Experiment. Uh, we are adjusting okay, the, the, the form of your cell phone. Okay. 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 Okay.
Now we decreasing it, we are taking it out and see how small it is. Oh, this one was experimenting with capacitor coil made of two strips of the aluminum foil with the insulation in between. At first we were trying to experiment with the wind, the electrical wind, uh, that and you see also the ionization factor even though that the insulation is proper we still have got that okay. now we see that uh, part of the foil is being pulled okay now you see it's being pulled again okay that's what a high voltage does that lead us to another discovery later on how to apply supposedly Toriel Kapenadze capacitive coil <laughs> into this device now all you see here is carousel yeah. But this one was a testing sample. So we have the four ends of the foil representing two separate windings. We have two light bulbs then are gonna be applied later on one was connected to winding number one of the capacitive coil and the other one was applied to one end of the winding second winding and the other one was the half of the diameter of the carousel strip of the foil aluminum foil that was horizontally slipped inside in between the carousel and the form of the coil capacitor that made the trick but don't forget about the ferrite ferrite has to be present now, that was the first part of the experimenting we were trying to find out how much voltage do we have and we did not have a much of induction we did not know why is that happening so, I believe it was me <laughs> to be blamed for that horizontal string. <laughs> but Idaho's was uh, even smarter than me uh, later on. But, uh, okay, this would make the trick. A small piece of ferrite reacting as a domain switchable relay with the memory and delay on overunity.com I explained that and that's what we're doing right now okay we're putting it now this piece of foil is supposed to be between two cross sections of the carousel to have the best effect okay we're trying that right now we I believe we do it without the fright I don't remember that so again we have a two spark gap uh, similar way to Tetariel Kapinazi. I hope he Tariel is not gonna get offended with that. I mean it's a it's an experimentation. He didn't tell it, we have to. Okay. Nothing is happening so far much. Now all of the ends they have a numbers on of that foil. So exactly now which one we didn't get. Now we start to have some effects. And we sparking on the horizontal strip. Now you're gonna see one um, light bulb that is a little bit um showing the brightness but the other one will soon show a full brightness on it and then you have the capacitor that is made of 
two pieces of the foil insulated in between themselves. So we have a four ends. Now, what I said is put a piece of foil in here that would be at the width no more than one fourth of the uh, diameter of the carousel and try to put that piece between two peaks. The peaks are usually the cross sections of the carousel. Now, what we did in here is we connected between the two of the windings of the capacity, we connected the load, which was leading just, just a little, leading. Now, this is number one, and this is number... Слушай, это из номер два? Алло, 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 это из двойка или это из, это из та, та же самая э, обмотка? Yeah, one. So this is one, and this is one. So, one of the windings from the coil capacitor is connected to the light bulb and was just leading. While it was leading, we connected this piece of the horizontal wire in here, and we connected that. It should be horizontal piece of uh, foil. The other one that is inside. See? Oh no no. Yeah. That's the that's the one that we put. Okay. Inside. One fourth of the diameter of the carousel. There's two pieces and extending to two cross sections of the carousel. Again, so I don't get confused. This one that you see in here. The rest of the connection you see like that. Okay, the spark gap, and this is the spark gap in here, it's not working over there, and uh, the regular structure, which is a two diodes, and the capacitor connected to the one wire. Now this is a high voltage Just a high wire voltage. here. Now, this wire is the ground wire. This is the ground wire, and this is number two, number two. So again, number two, front wire connected to one side of the capacitor. Number two in here is then used as a connection between a small piece of foil that is put in here. This is a small piece of foil. Through the spark of foil. Now this we piece were of foil them. is the width of one fourth of the diameter of the carousel and it should be at the length between the two peaks. You have a peak and valley, peak and valley of the cardio cells. Two peaks of the cardio cells. Again, this number one in here, and this number one in here are connected to this light bulb. Now again, this light bulb was just barely leading all the time every time while we use another light bulb connected between number two and the piece of the foil and we've got a full brightness now you see both of the light bulbs the one left hand side is uh, probably taking about 20 watts now he's sparking on the horizontal piece of foil. There was sleep inside the form of the capacitor between the capacitor and carousel. That's what he does. So we had the two loads. Where's the only two months and I'm going to make it uh, very good. That's what he says. Next thing that you're going to see is that we burn up the light bulb on the right hand side. Didn't have a very much proper tuning, but I estimate that trip was a full success. Now you see on left hand side is the one that is barely leading. And yes, on the right hand side, you have one that we were sparking on it. That's it. Burn up. Yes. Oh, we'll find out. <laughs> it burned up. <laughs> At the end of it. 
Да, он придумал так. I can say that I was also participating in it. У нас есть так и так два плеча. What is going to happen when we give two capacitive coils? А что будет, если мы разрежем эту пластинку и дадим два куска пластинки? I just said, what is going to happen if we cut the tree horizontal to two of them? У нас постоянно будет произведение. Производится Although he was like the other guys, never say to the end, just to bring the attention of the crowd to himself. Okay, some additional information, SWR meter that we have utilized in the experiment. The transformer powering um, function generators and those are 5.4 watts each one. Those are function generators and oscilloscope and spectrum analyzer in one. Now the magic coil that you see in here, that was the one that was used in the successful experiment 150 watts out and approximately 10 watts in. We claim it for safety, although the reality was that we delivered milliwatts out. But we wanted just to find out the drawing of the transform as a factor of energy um, consumption. This is the transformer, high voltage transformer with set of the capacitors um, that was utilized on it. And then a power supply, which is basically a high frequency 16.8 kilohertz uh, generator. And then this generator is connected to the transformer high voltage and these two diodes are connected at the output of the high voltage of the transformer. You see the capacitor and the structure and the spark gap over there. That was we were playing with this kind of connection. But Okay, now in here you have again the how everything is connected. The tube that you in here is the spark gap. Uh, this is my pickup coil that I took with me, it was specially winded for me, a little bit higher diameter, bigger diameter than the original one, but works. It is missing four winds from the left hand side and right hand side. Uh, the set of beautiful ferrites that I've got, Russian made, and the fork that we've uh, got from the plumbing supply uh, in Lithuania, with the diameters on it, and the model number, if somebody wants to buy it. <laughs> Uh, that's how the form that is glued looks like. The form was then wrapped with the electrical tape at the diameter. That's how it looks like. Antana did a beautiful job with document. This is just to show how the carousel should look like, but this is not the real winding. And again, you see the few rates shown. Um, that was a beautiful job Antana did with that report during uh, all of the details. Uh, this is the diameter of the ferrite. And I'm going to be playing. This is the form that was used, the diameter of the form. Okay. Of course, that. And you see two different numbers. It looks like a manufacturing numbers, not the item numbers, because they are different. Arunas. The most active gentleman in the group over the internet, the heart of everything, and me with reporter Antanas. Thank you very much. Так, сейчас будем мотать тоненьким-тоненьким проводочком. Я, ну, ну не хватает, как ты застрели. 24 только. Сколько только. там должно быть, посмотри. Данные две искры надо настроить. Так хочешь узнать.
Мы регулируем сейчас от стук и, и там, и там надо все регулировать. Хорошо. И у нас выходит, мы посмотрим, сколько батов нам выходит. Ну, Гинтес говорит, 4 пользы. И сколько? 4 Ну, по моему подсчетам, 4 ватта. 4, 4 ватта. Only uh, input. And we have uh, light bulb. Uh, yeah. But definitely giving us more than than four watts out. Oh. Okay. Надо еще конденсаторы. А а пал а пал ты пробовал менять палку это самое по отступалок? Не отступ перемещение палок. Да, есть выход напряжение выхода меняется, но пираже все равно нахуй нет. Вольтаж больше. А когда уберешь не будет ничего. Ну вольтаж уменьшает. А если ты уберешь палку? Боюсь, чтобы мне только не ебнуло. Я с этим наилучше работать, не знаю почему. Твой более-менее там. Давай. Давай. Посмотрим там. Меньше. Давай. А подожди, а я попробую искать стал. Есть стал. А! А! Куда не ответит? А где, где из этого сам? Это есть та палка? Нет, еще вторая есть. Чем больше фери, тем лучше ей. Но за этого мы, мы должны там намотать, чтобы сделать этот. А он ждет, не за, не за что. Как ждет? Ну то, 